<laughs> I'm laughing because I'm thinking of a word. Do you know what that word is? Bitch made. And do you know who that word is attached to? Dunga. <laughs> Dunga, Dunga, mad Dunga, angry Dunga, fight you in real life. Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> Tonka saw, Tonka saw, Tonka saw the bitch maid. Um, Tonka saw was the one who popularized that word, actually. Bitch maid. Great word. Great word, yeah. Bitch maid Tonka. Absolutely goddamn right. The guy is a faggot. The guy is a nothing. That's why I'm not even bothering to do like a real video on the guy, okay? Because he's a nothing, he's a zero. He is a man of no worth or consequence. But it's amusing to kick such a little flea, okay? It's amusing to kick him, you know? It brings out the inner bully. Why not, what the fuck, you know? It, you, you, you should never be afraid of sometimes embracing your natural cruelty. Sometimes, you know, that cruelty is warranted. Because this fucking faggot, i.e. Dunga, i.e. Tonka, i.e. bitch-made faggot, because that's what he is. Well, see, this guy's got it coming. He's a coward. I mean, he talks tough and he's like, oh, like a, like a big man. But I'll tell you right now, the guy is a coward. He is a coward in the sense that he is afraid of his opponents. And I'll give you proof positive. So like the other day, right, I get like some notice. Somebody tells me that um, Tonkasa is on Optic Decay's channel and he's talking shit about me. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, so I go over to Optic Decay's channel and I get on Optic Decay's stream and I tell or I ask uh, Tonka what the fuck is the matter with him saying shit about me. And Tonka, and I didn't know this at the time, but Tonka had the power to mute me. Actually, it was on Discord. It wasn't so much that he was muting me. He was like pulling me out of the on-air room and putting me into the general chat. Okay and then yanking me back from the general into the on-air, right? And so whenever I tried to speak and refute what he was saying, what Tonka saw was saying, he'd throw me into the general. So I'd be speaking into nothing but air. The, the bitch-made faggot that is Tonka saw was afraid to have other people listen to what I had to say, afraid that they'd realize that I was right and he was wrong and, you know, that he was in the wrong for talking shit about me. He was afraid of that. So that's why he did that. And I was like, what the fuck, right? Later I found out that it's a tactic that brave, the brave Tonka saw does all the time. He mutes people whenever they start saying shit that he doesn't like. Now let's talk about his show, the, 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 the morning kumite, right? Of now, this how people are doing and, and who's really the, the top dog. And for a while, the morning kumite, Tonka Saw's show, was the top dog. People were watching it. Tonka. I realized that he had something going for him that is very unique. You see, he had this very laid back persona. And um, it was a persona that, if you get right down to it, was a little bit boring. But that is not necessarily a bad thing for a host of a show like The Morning Kumite. Because what was The Morning Kumite? The Morning Kumite was a show that would bring on guests and have them fight. <laughs> have them fight, you know, verbally, that is. Uh, have them fight about whatever the fuck. You know, some dispute, some drama, some whatever, and they'd fight it out. And, you know, Tonka was the mediator, the referee. He was both providing the ring and, and, and providing, to, uh, you know, the, Tonka uh, a few times the school, privately. The I seemed like a nice guy, just laid back, easygoing kind of guy. I thought, you know, this, this is my kind of guy, you know, a nice fella. That's what I thought at first. At first. 
he he'd get into drama with guests and stuff, such, and I was just not understanding that. Why would he bother? Okay, because after all, the 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 the, the business or, or the science or the art of, of this kind of show is for the referee, the host, to bring the people onto the ring. And then get out of the fucking you watch, way. You know, the heavyweight champions of the world are fighting. You don't watch. You don't see the referee going up there and like start slugging away at one of the two fighters or both of the fighters. You don't see that, right? No, because that's not Tonka, his fucking job. As his show grew, well, pride goes before the fall, as they say. You know, because as his show grew, he got more and more into the morning kumite's drama. Okay. And that all blew up in his face when he got into, I, I don't know the specifics of it, but he got into a whole tiff with this guy, Zoom. And it all came to a head in Medicare's, um IBS apocalypse, right? That live stream, that famous, famously what? autistic. Two minutes of it? Seven it was just hours. People screaming at each other, including Tonka. And he made a fool of himself, right? He made a fool of himself, but big fucking deal. We all make fools of ourselves. I mean, I've made a fool of myself plenty of times, right? So I, I don't have a problem with that part, okay? What I do have a problem is grinding on about the goddamn, uh, you know, being made a fool of, you know? And, and claiming that you were doxxed and all kinds of shit, which is what Tonka started doing. He lost his audience. He lost his audience because he came across like a bitch. Like, he came across as if he were a bitch made. I saw that his audience abandoned him so quickly. And I was really surprised. But then, you know, there is something to be said about the wisdom of crowds. Okay? And sometimes an audience can almost subconsciously and collectively perceive something that, you know, somebody else won't, won't even notice, you know? And I think that fundamentally his audience realized that he was a coward. They, that's why they abandoned him. They, they fundamentally and, and at a collective and unconscious level understood the truth about the guy, that he was a coward. And he was a coward and he was a drama queen, a drama whore, really. He wasn't you know? like this good-natured, laid-back guy that he'd presented himself as being. Mm -mm. He wanted to be the center of attention. He wanted to be the center of attention. He wanted to be the source of the drama. It was only by accident that myself and so many other audience members had, you know, come to view him as this easygoing guy who was just being the referee of the blood sports. No, no, no. He wanted to be the star of his own show, but not in the way that a host is the star of his own show. He wanted to be the, the number one. He wanted to be the champion of internet blood sports. See, he wanted to fight everybody, and he wanted to win, okay? He, he didn't have the humility to recognize that there's always somebody bigger than you, somebody better than you, and tougher than you, and smarter than you. I mean, right now, in our uh, neck of the woods on YouTube, the undisputed uh, gorilla is Medicare. You know, fast on his feet, he can pretty much take on all comers and defeat all comers, right? He's the, 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 you know, the big gorilla, right? But I bet what happened was that it just gnawed on him that Medicare was so clearly the big gorilla of the jungle. And he, and he Tonka, was not. He was just, you know, the host of the show. He, he, couldn't, he couldn't just be happy with being the referee. He needed to be the star. And so he started lashing out at people. He started lashing out. And as his audience started to abandon him, he started lashing out at his own fucking audience, man. He started lashing out at his audience, lashing out at uh, everybody, including Medicare, right? And Medicare, being the big gorilla of the jungle that he is, he's like, sure, I'm, I'm happy to, to have a, uh, you know, IBS with uh, Tonka anytime. And what did Tonka do? He pussied out like the little faggot that he is because he's a coward. Shit, he talked shit about me. And I'm the worst fucking debater on earth because, you know, whenever I, I, I start debating, I start getting hot under the collar and I start getting hot under the collar and my, my, my like, brain cells just leak out of my ears and my tongue gets completely tied and I sound like a spurgy retard, right? I mean, that's me. I suck 
at these kinds of uh, confrontations, right? But even with somebody as shitty of a performer as I am, even with me, when I went on uh, Optic Decay's channel, the cowardly little fuck, Dunga, bitch made Dunga, had to mute me, had to mute me because he was afraid. Oh, man. You see what I'm saying? You think that a fucker like that is going to last five seconds in front of Medicare? No fucking way. <laughs> Jim will eat him alive. Yeah. And I personally would love to see that happen. It ain't going to happen, you know, because Dunga is too much of a pussy. He wants to be the okay. star. He Dunga wants to be the, 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 the biggest gorilla of the jungle. But he doesn't have the chops to do so, to be that person, right? And so he flings shit at people then figures that that's the way to show off that, you know, he's so tough and big and strong and all the rest of it. Uh-uh. It doesn't mean that at all. I mean, it's real fucking simple to fling shit at somebody who's not there. It's real fucking simple to fling shit at somebody and then mute him so that he can't respond. That's real fucking simple, huh? It's real fucking cowardly. Well, he's lost his audience, right? So there are only two ways to grow your audience. One is to put on a good show where you win your audience. But if you're not putting on a good show, like Tonka, Tonka is not putting on a good show. His shows are fucking boring, right? Because he's boring. And he wants to be the center of attention, but he's just too fucking boring, right? What's the other way to grow an audience? Well, simplicity itself. You latch on to a bigger channel. And so, like a $5 hooker getting down on her knees, bitch made Tonka saw has been sucking kraut dick. He's been sucking Sargon dick, thinking that by allying himself with those people, he'll recover the audience that he lost. See? I think how fucking pathetic to be getting down on your knees to suck kraut and tease cock. I mean, that's pretty fucking low. I mean, I know for a fact that there are $5 hookers who would not do that. Nuh -uh. They have more self-respect than bitch-made Tonka saw. But that's Tonka for you. A man with no integrity, a man with no sense of honor or self-respect, a man who only wants views. I don't think he even wants money, to tell you the truth. I just think he wants the numbers, okay? I think the numbers thing eats him alive, you know? I mean, that's the reason that he has his uh, subscriber number. Prime. He's a joke. He is a complete and utter joke. And see, the thing is, see, all he wants is attention. He wants attention desperately. Okay, he wants attention because he figures that with more attention and more controversy by alienating and antagonizing more and more people by just throwing as much shit up against the wall and antagonizing as many people as possible, he will up his viewership. So that's why I'm doing this video on the shit stream, my uh, very, very tertiary channel, okay, that nobody watches. Because nobody's going to watch this. I just wanted to get this off my chest and shit talk this little faggot for a bit so that people knew exactly what I actually thought. But, and this is a key issue, I did not want to give him any oxygen. Okay? And publicly, I'm never going to talk about bitch-made Tonka. And I'm never going to get on any stream to have it out about bitch-made Tonka. And you can call me a coward or faggot or this or that. I don't give a shit. You guys know I don't give a shit, right? But I'm not going to ever again publicly talk about bitch made Tonka precisely so that he has nobody's attention. See? I am purposefully never going to mention him to deprive him of the oxygen of attention that he wants and needs and craves and desires so badly. Uh uh. No attention for you, bitch made Tonka saw. Now go back to the reservation from whence you came.